her in time. Hang on, hang on. Oh. Oh, okay, here we go. We're going back. Hello. Okay. We're back to this. I want to finish it up. And then we'll do Persona on Sunday. Get right back into it. Hang on, hang on. Before we get started, can I just say something? Ooh, yeah, you can say something. Thank you for actually setting the clock both times you booted up the game. <laughs> a lot of people don't take that stuff seriously. They just leave the clock at 12 and call it a day. You're actually taking the time to set the clock, and I appreciate that. That's how I know you care about this experience. You're paying attention. I don't even have any way of knowing if the times you're setting are correct. Tell you what, I'll make you a deal. Since you've been so cooperative, next time you boot up the game and see the screen, just set the clock to your favorite time. Go ahead, pick whichever time you want, even if it's not the correct time. You've earned it. <laughs> All right, I'll let you get back to the video game now. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> Dude, I love this. This daily parable, too. It's so good. It's so good. So goofy. We don't ever need a Stanley Parable 2. But this is... This is... Such a fun time. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> I was really happy playing this yesterday. Okay. We gotta figure out what endings we haven't gotten yet. I don't think we did vanilla ending with the bucket. So we have to do every ending that we can with the bucket. That we haven't done. It's important. Go sleep, Zelda. No worries. No worries at all. No worries at all. I'll keep the volume up, but if it gets... Yeah, too loud, we'll see. Achievement! Welcome back. Oh, my input went away. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Where's my... Where are my balloons? Where's my bucket? Oh, that... Stanley, I'm sorry. But I have to put a pause What's on things. What's happening? It's just, it's those figurines, those figlers. What? I haven't stopped thinking what? about them since you nabbed every last one. Wasn't it just the most intrinsically fulfilling moment of your entire life? Yes, I knew this Didn't looked it weird. Didn't fill you to the brim with inner richness? Yes, I know we're supposed to be telling a story, but won't you please indulge me with one more oh. trip back to the memory zone? <laughs> I would love nothing more than to revisit the figurines, just one more time. <laughs> Like we gotta go back to those figurines. <laughs> what are the? What did he call them? The figly wigglies or something? The the sti stiggly wiggly stiggly figlies? What were they called? At the end of it? Whatever it was was my favorite. Okay, back to the memory song. <laughs> I'm so excited. If you all did not get to see the stream last night, the ultra deluxe version of this is it's so good. It's so good. Super good. Yeah, I moved on too fast and I didn't get to hear the whole thing. Which I'm really sad about. Now remembering when Stanley found the collectibles! <laughs> oh my god, this is all gonna be different! Okay, I can't wait. So I have to go out of here and into the next place. Memory zone. Memory. Zone, sweet zone. Oh, this is awful. Wait a minute. Now we're going down. I don't want to go down there. Wait a minute. This seems awful. Why would I? This looks bad. Oh, wait. Oh. <sighs> Here's where it all began. The first collectible. Back then, we had no idea of how many of them we'd find. <laughs> sure, it said six right there on the screen, but how could we know for certain? How could we know? We were so innocent. We'll never be like that again, Stanley. We were so innocent. Oh, seven out of six. Oh, yeah. Over here. What's happening? Where are we? Okay, we have seven out of six collectibles. <laughs> this game's like, yeah, you thought. Oh my god, we're getting them all again. was a second Stanlerine. I'll be honest, back then I had no faith in you to find any of them, let alone six. 
but you continue to surprise me in all sorts of mundane, unremarkable ways. <laughs> so happy. <laughs> he has sex! I can't wait. Oh, that's weird. Okay. Let's go to the, let's okay, go to the bathroom. Okay, let's do a little quiz. Which of these rooms was the room you found your third mini stand? Can you remember? It was this one. It was this one. I remember. I did this yesterday. Hey, that's exactly right. It was here in the boss's bathroom. It was the third one. You picked it up, and then after that, you had three of them. I'm glad these moments are so crystal clear in your memory, but I shouldn't be surprised. After all, science tells us that it's impossible to forget your third time doing anything. My God, you know what we need to reminisce on? The figurines you just collected. Oh, man, we need to reminisce. <laughs> I wonder where my freaking uh, balloons and bucket went. Where's my bucket? I'm Let's feeling see. really anxious. What came next? I'm feeling super anxious because I don't have oh, my bucket yes, right we now. We found a figly in this pink room. No, we didn't. Oh, well, I can't actually say I remember being in this room, what but the... it's here in the memory zone, so it must have happened. Seriously. <laughs> oh my god, I love that finding the figurines does lead to more content. So good. They're like, you're not gonna get anything for it. Boom. Content. Give me that. Ten out of six. Hell yeah. Ugh. So good. Where the fuck are we? Is that an apple? <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh. This was the fifth mini stand, and this one was really something special. It's a little it different. was in the warehouse. I Didn't. remember it so clearly. In fact, this because this one is particularly special to me, I made a little video to commemorate the occasion. Enjoy. Oh! <laughs> it's like... It's like... <laughs> it's like from 2000! Just like with like old iPhoto! Oh my god, like old iMovie shit! High five, dude! This is different from what you got? <laughs> Best boy, the narrator, starring Stanley. <sighs> Takes you back, doesn't it? I sure spent a does. lot of time making that video, wow. but it was eight minutes I wouldn't have spent on anything else. Oh, the memory. Oh, the memory. <laughs> oh, you know what I love? 11 out of 6. Favorite number. Combo. Oh, okay. Sure. Yeah. This is where we went next. Mm-hmm. Is definitely where we were next. For the last figurine was here. Oh yeah, it was here. Okay. And then Stanley, then we came to the last collectible, the final figurine, right here yes. by the red and blue door. That is true. This memory is the most distinct and clear in my mind. Yep. Perhaps because it was the one that happened more recently than all the others. You're right. Who can truly say how the mind works? All I know is that this is the moment where you picked up a figly and I thought figly to myself, wiggly. yes, that's all of them. They're all collected. It was a moment unlike any other, except for the other moments picking up figurines, which it was exactly like. <laughs> oh, let's get it. I need that 12 out of 6. Oh, yes. The blue door. Yes, 12 out of 6. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, oh, God. You are in the present. I hate it. I go back to the past. Oh. Bye, Mallow! And then there was no more. Because we've caught up to the present moment. Nothing left to do but move onward into the future. Goodbye, memory zone.
Um, no, 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 I'm not done. I'm not ready to move on. Stop the loading screen. Isn't there some way we can stay it here, keep enjoying these figurines? Uh -huh. Let's just go backwards. We'll do the memory zone again from the opposite direction. See how that feels. <laughs> you didn't pick it up? Wait, but then, he, but then he asked you to do this? What? No way! Okay, yes. The room with the red and blue doors. I remember this. I must say, of all the figurines we looked at in our initial tour of the memory How zone, that work? this one is the most distinct and clear in my mind. Let's keep going. I want more. I feel like it shouldn't allow you to have this kind of interaction until you get all six. That's what it seems like. Mmm. Oh, 13 out of six. Let me in. Says a new chapter detailing document features has been added to your rule book. Check all, all information thoroughly. Deny any applicant with discrepant documents. Refer to the audio transcript to correlate entrance statement. Glory to Arstotska. What the frick? What is that? Lore! Lore! Bye, MCR. Have a good evening. All right, going backwards. Back, back. Okay. And here's where I made that video. Don't you remember the video we watched? Yeah. <laughs> yes, I love that video. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm so happy to have 14 out of 6. Then we're back in that pink room. Y'all remember the pink room? I remember. I still don't remember the pink room, Stanley. Still no memory of this one. Good room, though. A solid room. Oh, this is to account for the fact that you get the first one in the new zone. That's pretty great. And it was the first one you get, but whatever. Oh, you know what? I've always wanted 15 out of 6 collectibles. Let me in there. Stop giving me doors I can't go in. Back into the bathroom! These really were a treat to hunt down. You know, if there had been any kind of reward for finding all of these, it really the would have museum? muted the intrinsic joy of collecting them. I'm very glad we resisted the temptation. Next one. Bucket museum? I don't know. No, I've gotten the ending that's like questioning the buckets. I've been trying to get all the bucket endings. I don't think I've been to a bucket museum. But I need my bucket. I'm getting really nervous without it. I'm very uncomfortable right now. If you're sleepy, you should go bed. Go bell. Oh, it can't even go this way. Oh. Stop talking. Okay. It's all good. All good. This was our second figly. Don't you remember? Yes, I remember it too. The past is truly a wonderful thing. Why does anyone ever choose to leave it? I don't know. Beats Keep me. Going. Beats me. Don't you love getting all the figly wigglies and the Stanley Parable? Look at this figly wiggly. Stan Lorraine's. Figurlanurines. What were some of the other names? What? What'd you do to yourself? I my fingernail, and I also threw blood. Oh my god! I thought you were like holding on to your crotch. No. It's just keeping it away from your knee. Yeah. Okay, question. How did you draw blood? <laughs> yeah, really intense. Playing switch sports. Yeah. And in my fingernail also blocked. Oh, I'm guessing that went into that. No. Uh, afterwards, this one went into the microphone on a swing, hit my uh, fingernail, and then later on with the, the long part here, I think. That. Yeah, you need you need a full office <laughs> so you can back up. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> Did you do something wrong? You just went, oh! 
Dude, this is so... So you played the original. Oh, yeah. I think I edited all the endings. Oh yeah, except that. But you just watch video for that. Um, this has been fantastic. Yeah, I'm gonna be playing that next week. Yeah, so that's why I'm gonna I turn it into it. Well, now you just know that there's some Figgly Wigglies. Yeah. You gotta get them. You gotta get them all. I have like, I have so many. I think I might actually buy a helmet. <laughs> just for fun. <laughs> He's solid. Oh, he, high five. High five. That's what he wanted. He says hi to you. Then you requested a high five. Okay, you got you saw that. Alright, let's let's go. Back into the This is it. The very first oh, wait, one. Oh wait, no, they did include this in one. In the exhibit where I introduced you to the figure. What's the one I'm missing? Oh, I want more memories, Stanley. I want to keep going. What else is there? What came before this? Are you gonna are you gonna make me do it again? You got 18 now. <laughs> What's this? Oh, the jump zone. Let's do the jumpy. I want to jump again. Can I jump again? Look, it's the terrible new content that we were originally sold on. I remember hating it back then. But time does put a rosy filter on everything. <laughs> In fact, I dare say I'm actually quite fond of it now. Look how much fun the past is. I want more. More memories. Okay, where are you? You are so nostalgic today. This is how we're starting our day. Oh, that's oh. uncomfortable. Oh, yes, the two doors. <laughs> Who could have forgotten that? A classic memory, this one. Classic. Classic. Oh, God. If I go this way, is he going to, like, stop me from going? Oh, no, it doesn't matter. Oh, back in our office. And before everything else, there was your office. Is there anything else? Was there something that came before your office? There's something I feel I can remember. I can remember. I can remember. Give me my bucket. Oh. Yes, I'm remembering something now. I remember before this whole story got started. Back then, I was... I was different. We're rewinding. I used to make big decisions. I was passionate. I was skeptical. I weighed each decision with profound thoughtfulness. And then somewhere along the way, I stopped making decisions. I became lazy and I came up with, well, came up with a character named Stanley to do my thinking for me. He would make the decisions. He would decide which way to go. I would cheer him on as he collected figurines for no reason. Not no Why reason. Why did I invent Stanley? Was I lonely? Seems like yes, it. Yes, perhaps that's it. Perhaps I needed to imagine I had companionship. Yeah. And Stanley really did make for a wonderful companion, even if he was a fiction. But uh, I suppose it's grown old. I, I want to think for myself again. I want to go back to how it used to be. Yes, I can be on my own again. I can do it. I don't think I'll so. be stronger this time. I'll take care of myself. You get a bucket. I don't need Stanley anymore. A bucket. Oh, but he truly was so much fun to play with. You know what? Since we're in the memory zone, how about one more good memory? Let's go back just once and give Stanley one more run of the office, and then I'll retire him for good. No. I did enjoy telling this story so very much. But one okay. Stanley Parable too. Here we go. Give me my this bucket! is the story of a man named Stanley. Hi, fans! We're loading. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Is it going to be different? I have to watch it all again. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul lifting, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley, was happy. Was happy. Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. 
Something that would forever change Stanley. Stanley Parable? Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when Is he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. I think it's back to normal? You didn't play the first Stanley Parable? Did you do all the normal endings before the new content? Or did you just do all the new content right away? Because doing the bucket endings after the normal endings makes them so much more impactful. Because you're like, holy fuck, look at how they changed it. So funny. What's up, trainer? Hi. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Mostly normal Stanley first. Stanley decided okay. to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply <laughs> missed a memo. Did you get... Did no you... matter how hard Stanley looked, <coughs> he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Did you get... Uh, did you go out the window, Raxa? What's up, HTML? I'm good. You were told to, though. Are you going to go back and do more? So I was going to say I could show you stuff, but... Um... Okay, you're gonna go do more. Okay, then I won't. I won't uh, ruin it for you. Oh, it's my bucket. A good oh. bucket. A strong bucket. A yes. humble bucket. Oh, a committed yeah. bucket. A bucket of culture and distinction. Oh yeah. Yes. <laughs> distinction. So close. Stanley pressed the bucket upon every little thing in the office. Nothing responded to the bucket's touch, but it did little to discourage Stanley's belief in the magic of the bucket. Wow, is God ending gone, or did I just... Where'd it go? Where's, where's my heaven ending? Okay. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. Still no one was here. Stanley needed the bucket's warmth and comfort now more than ever. Perhaps his boss's office was where he'd find answers. Was a nautical menace, so we gotta do this. Stanley, we must move on from this broom closet, simply because I have no remaining Did stickers. you do this, if I did, Raxa? you can guarantee we'd be in here for hours. But alas, no stickers. Did you do this without the bucket? Did you go in here without the bucket? Without the bucket. Oh, good. Okay, did you go in here again after? Okay, just keep trying to go in there. Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked <laughs> upstairs to the boss's office. That's it. That's all I have to say. So we've done the we've done the ending down there. So with the bucket, so we're good. Um, I have not played Superluminal, however, I've watched it casually and the speedrun. Um, yes, that, the broom closet, just, you know, love to the broom closet. open? I did it earlier. The painting cube over bucket. I don't know. Bucket's pretty fucking great. Why? Where are my inputs? I can't do my inputs anymore. Let's do pod ending. Stepping in. Too late now. Can't back out now. Did you do that, Rex? <laughs> if not, spoilers. Sorry. Spoilers. I want to look 
look away. The remake of the dialogue, so good. Don't worry about my spoilers, probably won't deep dive. Okay, cool. Yeah, so if you back out of the boss's room as the doors are closing, the narrator will stop and other shit happens. Which we are about to do because we did it with, without the bucket and now we're going to do it with the bucket. Let's go to the escape pod with the bucket. Yeah, this is nothing still, right? I want to make sure we're... Okay. I want to make sure we're still going in the right direction with, with the bucket. If you're if familiar in the TV room, the mind control facility. I did get stuck between the doors last night. <laughs> With all the TVs, yeah. The layout of this building, don't worry about it. Another actual bug, apparently. Gotcha. I don't know what the bug is, but... I know you can get a glitch achievement as well. Isn't there a glitch ending? Have you gotten, um, the confusion ending? You would know. If, if you don't know what that means, then you have not. Okay, because that's one of my fucking favorites. <laughs> I'm glad. Here we are with the bucket. Going down the dark hallway with the bucket. Into the escape pod with the bucket. Usually just, there's no dialogue. Do I get dialogue this time? It's different. So much affection for this bucket. <laughs> heaven ending so good because it's just buttons. Stanley's heaven. Now he has a bucket, so he's sending the bucket off to freedom. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> the emotional music. music man be free bucket be free oh it's so good that was so good okay let's get vanilla ending with bucket i got i got All it we got co-workers were gone what could it mean we gotta do vanilla Stanley ending decided to go to the meeting room perhaps he had simply missed a memo Oh my god, did I set it free and then I can't get it back? Can I not get my bucket back? Oh my god, but I haven't gotten all the endings! I need my bucket! Oh my god, where's my bucket? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yet there was not a single person here either. Where's my bucket? Seeing a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his coming to a staircase. Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Wait, Jack, can I get the bucket back? <laughs> Wait, I had so much more to do. Can I get it back? I need the dialogue. If it's where you left it. Is it where I left it? Can I go back in the pod and get it? What do I do? How do I get the bucket back? Oh, fuck. You have no idea. 
<sighs> oh my god. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Have you gotten the alternate room at the beginning? I'm not sure what you mean. I have locked myself in my office. If you do that right away, you just close the door, you get an ending. Um, but fuck it back after. I'm like accidentally ruining the ending, so. <clears throat> How do I get? <laughs> I can't. This is the. Where's my fucking bucket? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? <laughs> Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Woo! Woo! I had me worry there for a second, but it's okay. We have a re <laughs> replacement bucket. And try not to lose this one too, you dolt. <laughs> okay, we're good. We're good. Okay, vanilla ending. Impossible. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. Oh, man. Okay. Let's... Still no one was here. Stanley needed the bucket's warmth and comfort now more than ever. Perhaps his boss... Stanley, we must move on from this no! closet. Simply because I have no remaining stickers. If I did, you can guarantee we'd be in here for hours. But alas, no stickers. Are you not gonna do what you do and without the bucket? All right. Do you, Coming I to guess. Staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs <laughs> to the boss's office. <laughs> Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley typed was in the code. Again stunned to discover not an indication of any this. human life. You do it Cru too fast. Let Stanley guessed the correct code by sheer luck. Was it Whoa. the bucket knew all along? Oh, it's not making his weight. Was the bucket guiding him? Yes. Do it without this the bucket. This is certainly the most logical explanation. <laughs> Type in the code without the bucket while he's still talking. Remember we got a. Remember when we got a collectible over here? Remember? Too many times. You can do eights as well and stuff. And did you go up and down the elevator here? The code achievement for eights, I'm pretty sure, yeah. Eight. The elevator raced downward, plummeting okay, towards an unknown fate. It would be all Stanley could do to keep himself together, if not for the bucket. <laughs> Soothing him, comforting him, reassuring that in this darkest moment of uncertainty, he would be all right. <laughs> the bucket is here for you, Stanley. Everything will be fine. Thank goodness. I don't know what I would do without this bucket. Oh, really? Yeah, because it's already in a different dialogue. Stanley and the bucket walked straight ahead through the large door that read, Mind Control Facility. <laughs> we'll do that soon. Because we've done that vanilla. I mean, I've, you know, we've done it. We also haven't tried to take over the facility with a bucket. So we have like a few endings on the side to do. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? 
Stanley and the Bucket both wondered to themselves. So we did like all of the right side endings with the bucket yesterday. Did you um, find a way to get credits yet, Raxa? Did you get any credits? I'm, I'm just trying to gauge. You got two credits, no bucket. You figured that out or did you get a hint for that? If I say phone? Really? Good job. I think somebody had to told me. Had to tell me. Jumped to life, and Stanley nearly dropped the bucket in shock. Don't drop the bucket! Everyone in the office was being videotaped, monitored like guinea pigs. Where's ours? Like over here. The somewhere. bucket had never seen anything like this, <laughs> and it very nearly burst into tears as Stanley cradled it gently, reassuring it that everything would be fine. There we go. We're right here, right above the bucket. There's our dark little office. It's okay, Bucket. Just like the heaven ending. Well, that one I got, yeah. Was the Bucket under the mind <laughs> control facility's influence as well? <laughs> Had the Bucket been told to do things it didn't wish to do? Poor Bucket. What kinds of things does a Bucket want to do or not want to do in the first place? I forget what else gives you credit. These questions raced furiously in Stanley's feeble mind. No! He screamed into the bucket. He couldn't accept it. Really sudden, His April own life 27th? in someone else's control? Never! He squeezed oh, this, the yeah. bucket tighter. His one friend in the entire world. One only friend. At this point, he could trust no one except for the bucket. I don't blame you. <laughs> I'm sure, Raxa, yeah. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. I love how it's and different. as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he and the bucket would dismantle the controls for good. Two best friends, Stanley and the bucket, up against the world. Up they high-fived in a really cool way, and the bucket made a sassy comment about taking down the system. <laughs> of course it did. It's, a, it's the bucket. You could fall off if you clip past the gate. Stanley like the and the bucket in. waited in Oh, darkness. nice. Was it over? Yes. They had done they it. Had done it together. Stanley and the Bucket had defeated their greatest and darkest enemy, freed themselves from the tyrannical grip of the evil mind control machine. Freedom was now mere moments away. Excitedly, the two of them began to discuss the kind of life they wanted to live once they stepped through this massive door. The Bucket wanted to learn to roller skate. Stanley wanted to sneeze in every country on Earth. Both of them wanted to begin watching a movie, any movie, but then stop it halfway through and begin watching it in reverse from the end. True, it was a simple life they envisioned, but it was one they'd lived together, with one another to lean on, to trust, to support. To... Oh! No! What? Wait. What was happening? Why had the door stopped? No! Was Stanley and the Bucket not about to be freed? An unbearable silence filled the room. No! Lingering in uncertainty. Until finally the truth hit Stanley square in the face. This building did not want the bucket to leave. No! Even the facility itself recognized the incredible calming presence of the bucket. Needed the soothing warmth of the bucket. Or go to any lengths not to part with the bucket. No. no what do we no, do? No. Stanley can't leave this place. Not while he has such a precious bucket in his arms. No! Not while this building has anything to say about it. Stanley realized he would never again leave this very room. But at least, at least he has the bucket. To be trapped eternally in darkness isn't really so bad, Stanley thought to himself. As long as I have my bucket with me, right? I'll be okay, won't I? Stanley gulped. Very soon now, he was about to find out. This is why you have to put in the escape pod. That's gonna be the only way the bucket can ever leave. 
It's through the escape pod. <laughs> We're really getting a bucket story. Oh, shit. <laughs> wow. That's amazing. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Happy 12th Stanley birthday. decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Yeah. Uh, the embrace of an old friend. So good. A weathered companionship that stands the test of time. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. Did you get uh, a third door here, Raxa? Have you gotten a third door to go through? You did. Good. Okay. <sighs> Still no one was here. Stanley needed the bucket's warmth and comfort now more than ever. Perhaps his boss's office was where he'd find answers. Stanley, we must move on from no, this. No, it doesn't closet, change. Simply okay. because I have no remaining stickers. Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. Can't get heaven ending anymore. It's super weird. I don't know how that would work, trainer. I wonder if the bucket would be there if you put it in the escape pod. Maybe that's why it's gone for one round. Does anybody know? I'm so curious now. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. But Stanley guessed the correct code by sheer luck. Was it that the bucket knew all along? Was the bucket guiding him? Yes, this is certainly the most logical explanation. Okay, I'm wondering what other endings we can get after we do the escape one. That is a very interesting theory. I wonder. This game is so unrealistic. You're, you're clutching it like a friend. Oh, we have two more Stanley endings on the bucket side. walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley and the bucket would both meet a violent death. You can't hug it. Oh, the we haven't done the adventure line. Shut. Oh, yeah. Stanley and the bucket still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. At this point, Stanley and the bucket were knowingly walking forward into a very painful death for each of them. Here we go. As the machine whirred into motion and Stanley and the bucket inched closer to their demise, Stanley reflected on how meaningless the bucket's warmth and comfort had turned out to be. To be sure, it puts the mind and the soul at ease to embrace the bucket, but what use is a sense of ease when you're about to be crushed to death? This is what Stanley thought to himself, and he sort of kicked himself for wasting so much time carrying a bucket everywhere. Farewell, Stanley. Farewell, Stanley, there cried is. the narrator, as Stanley and the bucket were led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, the bucket's life came to an end <laughs> as it was crushed violently to death. Yay! It was a shame, the death of such a magnificent bucket. It's true that all buckets are radiant in their own way, but this one stood above the rest. It was a glorious bucket to behold. Oh my god. Yay! <laughs> the bucket welcomes you to the grand exhibit. Yeah, because this is usually like the, the Stanley Parable background stuff. Yeah, so if you do this vanilla, it's usually just like behind the scenes, but kind of not really.
You are standing at the precipice of knowledge. Much like a bucket itself, the human mind is frequently empty within. Nope. <laughs> Cavernous void. But through use of the ex exhibit in front of you, the mind becomes full and enriched and substantiated. Knowledge of the bucket and its history is the only true knowledge we really have. Will you take what you learn here out with you into the world? Will you accept with an open mind what may be challenging about the information in this exhibit? Will you change the lives of yourself and your loved ones as a result of this exhibit? Or will you turn a blind eye and continue to live as you were in ignorance and darkness? I don't know. I'm pretty sure the bucket's changed me forever. So you know. Can you see how arrogant it was for Stanley to take a bucket like this and to claim it for his own? Can you see the hubris that blinded him? Can you see that the bucket is far more noble than Stanley will ever be in his short life? That's rude. Here it goes. Oh god, I'm feeling anxious. That's, that's too funny. Oh, it's just sitting up there now? Okay. 25 buckets. That's a, that's a little bit more than 25 buckets. Photograph of 25 buckets, the greatest number of buckets ever captured on camera. The photographer experienced catatonic shock for several weeks as a result of the euphoria from exposure to this many buckets at once. We're just going to say, like, five buckets is, like, just, just right there. So, I think 25 buckets is, like, like, that many. You know what I mean? That's, like, a couple hundred buckets. You don't know how deep You're that goes. Nicest bunch I've ever met. And when this song is through, there's nothing back here. There's a chair. <laughs> Yo, Rizar, thank you for 11 months. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. So, thank you so much. Inferno bucket. Replica of the Inferno Bucket, which in the medieval era was so powerfully alluring that it drove dozens of nations to war with one another for control of it. Billions died, yet in spite of it all, the simple fact remains, no one can control a bucket. <laughs> a bucket with two handles. This bucket is depicted as having two handles. Such design has never been created in real life, having been deemed too dangerous and recklessly experimental. Every year, dozens are put to death just for attempting it. Just fast forward. Mean something to you? Yes. Skip? You mean skip? Good morning, Stripes. Good night, Grizzly. Oh, wait. Oh, that's where I came in. I'm silly. Okay, this is the only other uh, This is the only other way. Just an amazing section. Yeah, that was like the new content area. Hmm. A stress bucket, an analogy. Presented without commentary. <clears throat> Worrying, negative forecasting, negative thinking, lack of reassurance. Vulnerability equals size and strength of the bucket. Coping strategies equals holes. Stress equals the level of water in the bucket. Ask me like they should doing something you enjoy. <clears throat> That's great. I'm, cry I'm crying so much right now. No, I've been sniffing. I was like super stuffed up yesterday, so it's so much better. Um, today, while we know the buckets predate the existence of mankind, <laughs> sure, we do not know by how long. This cave drawing depicts early man's discovery of the practical uses of the bucket. By which time, the bucket had already likely been around for several millennia. Notice in these drawings how the bucket is allowing itself to be used, having judged humanity to be worthy of its treasures.
Yeah, no mine man can own a bucket, and certainly not a bucket as dazzling to behold as this one. It is man who should kneel before the bucket. 100%. Where's all this supposed to be? The hanging bucket. Oh, that's the one that came up. This piece symbolizes the necessary relationship between bucket and humanity. However clear our grasp of the bucket may be, there is yet more that is always out of reach. This distance, inevitably, is for our own good. Oh. Oh. But there is something we can do. Something we can do together, you and I, that will right this terrible wrong. Let Stanley die. Let him be crushed by the machine. Don't reset the game. Don't give him another opportunity to run off with another beautiful bucket. We can save the world's buckets from their treatment as tools and implements if only we let Stanley die together. The bucket shall take its place as ruler, as leader, as commander of a new world, a new vision. Of the Well, I guess the bucket died as well. <clears throat> oh, ooh. Okay, we died. All right. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had... S the bucket made Stanley want to be a better man and a better co-worker. In time, perhaps, he would become both of those things. <laughs> Does the bucket want to make you all want to become Stanley a better person? the bucket tightly to his chest and enter the person. door on his left. I can think of at least three more endings we can do with the bucket. Still no one was here. Stanley needed the bucket's warmth and comfort now more than ever. Stanley, we must move on from this broom closet. Simply because I have okay. no coming to a staircase, Stanley and good. the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. Oh, it's open today. No, we're gonna do that um, <clears throat> next. And then we also have um, confusion ending with Bucket. I haven't done that yet either. I wanted to go in here for a minute. Poor Panda. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. But Stanley guessed the correct code by sheer luck. Was it the bucket knew all along? Was the bucket guiding him? Yes, this is certainly the most logical explanation. We've done the number three, which is so good. So good. Stanley and the bucket walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. We can turn this puppy on! The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley and the Bucket both wondered to themselves. How to get past this area, so I'm just the monitors jumped to life, and Stanley nearly dropped the bucket in shock. Everyone in the office was being videotaped, monitored like guinea pigs. The bucket had never seen anything like this, and it very nearly burst into tears as Stanley cradled it gently, reassuring it that everything would be fine. We just did the escape one, that was the escape one that I did with the woman narrator. Was the bucket under the mind control facility's influence as well? Had the bucket been told to do things it didn't wish to do? 
What kinds of things does a bucket want to do or not want to do in the first place? <laughs> These questions raced furiously in Stanley's feeble mind. Yeah, whatever. No! He screamed into the bucket. He couldn't accept it. <laughs> His own life in someone else's control? Never! He squeezed the bucket tighter. His one friend in the entire world. Only friend. At this point, he could trust no one except for the bucket. Beep, 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 but here was the proof. Beep, 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 the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. Huh. And as the cold reality huh. of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. Mm. For he and the bucket would dismantle the controls for good. Totally. Two best friends, <laughs> Stanley and the bucket, up against the world. Yep. They high-fived in a really cool way, and the bucket made a sassy comment about taking down the system. But at the last second, the bucket jumped in and pressed the button to turn on the controls. It's the bucket's fault! Stanley ball. gasped in horror. Had this been the bucket's plan all along? <laughs> to take over the machine and claim the power for itself? How could the bucket have betrayed him like this? Stanley was prepared to throw the bucket away in disgust when suddenly an image appeared upon the enormous screen. Birds. Silly. Silly birds. Silly birds. The control buttons became active <clears throat> again. Oh, oh shit. Wait, I can't leave. Silly, silly birds. Which bird you want? I want this bird. Stanley flipped through one video of silly birds after another, and then it dawned on him. This wasn't a mind control facility at all. It was a facility for monitoring and surveilling silly birds all over the world. <laughs> the mind controls were only a facade to disguise its true intentions. What? <laughs> had the bucket known this all along, Stanley marveled at the metal genius in his hands, the one who had pointed him towards this incredible discovery. Stanley and the Bucket never found freedom because they spent the rest of their lives here in this place, flipping through live streams of the silliest birds imaginable. Of all the possible paths his life could have taken, this one was surely the best. And Stanley was happy. Aww. It was the Bucket can't leave, at least, you know, we have, we have our time together with birds. <laughs> it was so much more positive than I thought it was going to be. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Let's get window in Stanley again. decided to go to the meeting room. Not everyone is so lucky to have a bucket, <laughs> but Stanley is a very lucky fellow. Very lucky. Stanley clung the bucket to his cheek. Could his co-workers really all be gone? The gods he bloated and the bugs to you, cousin, you got stubby. Yo, Lacey, thank you for the no dude. 90 months is a long time. Thank you so much, bro. I appreciate you with that tier too. Here we go. <clears throat> yes, whispered the bucket into Stanley's ear. We've done it. We've escaped from that dull office and that pesky narrator. <laughs> At last, hey, out here in the white void, we are alone now, and for the first time, I can reveal to you <sighs> my true self. The bucket began to tell Stanley of its life and its history, of the countless wars it witnessed, uh -huh. desecrating the land and lives of untold numbers of innocent humans, and the bucket's own complicity therein, of sadness and regret, and the many years it spent dwelling on the actions it might have taken to curb the madness and the decay, if only it had been stronger of hope and redemption, and its crusade to uplift the stock of life for the common man, <laughs> to manifest justice where none existed, and the bittersweet reality of time, to see one's dreams and wishes met halfway, meted out in parcels like charity, 
and abandoned as soon as the warm glow of inspiration begins to dim. The opportunities to do so much more. There was so much it could have done, perhaps, the bucket wondered to itself. Perhaps, if it had seen its own darkness with a clearer perception. This was way too much for Stanley. What are you talking about? He screamed. You're a bucket! To this, the bucket furrowed its brow. No, said the bucket. Not since the evil wizard Gambhorata first ensnared me in his machinations as payback for the sacred amulet I stole from his treasured vaults. Thank you, I was Carl. young back then and could not conceive the ramifications of... No! Stanley screamed even louder this time. This is stupid! You are a bucket! This is so stupid! Why are we even doing this? As Stanley screamed and screamed and screamed, the bucket revealed its true form, transforming into a mighty beast of untold power, its fangs glistening like... What just happened? My God, <gasps> Stanley, you did it. You saved us from the bucket. <gasps> Thank God you already had all 12 emblems of sages <laughs> and knew the incantations to summon their true power. Otherwise, we would have easily been overwhelmed by the bucket's power. I'm speechless. You've demonstrated such bravery here today. Come, let's restart the game, and we'll agree to never again go trifling with this bucket, nor the dark magic cast away inside of it. Oh my god. Wow, we were heavy betrayed. Okay, we got we got the window ending. That's so good. These are so Already, good. This was uncomfortable. And Stanley decided that as soon as he found a new space he felt safe in, that he would never leave it again in his life. Okay. I can't get heaven ending anymore. It takes a lot of humility to carry a bucket so magnificent. Stanley checked his ego and then proceeded onward. <laughs> so good. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his... This was not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Was this better than the meeting room? Yes, no. Never mind. The bucket was wrong. We've done the Stanley four... Stanley took the door on his left I guess five to things there. the meeting room. <clears throat> Actually, I've done as many things in that area as I could, including the vent. So, we'll go this way. And so the two of them detoured through the maintenance section and walked straight ahead to the opposite door. Here we go. This might be the last ending I can oh, think of. good Stanley. I'm glad you found your way Wait, here. what? I knew you'd find this place. Oh, God! Good. You see, your friends and I are concerned for you, Stanley. We've come together life. here because we care about you very oh, much. No. It's this bucket you're carrying around everywhere. The bucket isn't even from the original Stanley parable. It's just sequel content. We're the ones that matter, Stanley. Classic characters from the first game, like the Adventure Line and the Broom Closet. Because that's what fans want from a sequel. They want more of their favorite jokes, not this bucket that they've never seen before. Yes, I know I'm the one who gave you the bucket, but you're spending too much time with it. Don't you want another story involving the adventure line? We yes. can make the adventure line go somewhere new. Yes, yes, that's what the fans want. Let's do it. Oh, no. Dude, I love this. We care about you. You got the baby. You got, like, the fake wife statue. You got his thing. Okay, you got the broom closet and the adventure line. This is amazing. This is an in intervention. This is so good. No, no, no. We're playing as Stanley. We are Jim. 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 J-I-M, Jim. Oh, and the fern that's really super important. <laughs> that's a good point. I'm gonna pass Whee! by that. Look at that wacky line. Who knows where it'll go off to next? Oh, and it played some silly music as well. It sure did. Yes! Upside down. 
Now this is what the Stanley Parable is all about. Don't you remember all those great jokes from the original dialogue? Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. <laughs> yes, it's as classic now as it was back then. Let's do it for the fans, Stanley. Let's give them more content exactly like this. But if we want to do that, you're going to have to give something up. I'm not giving up the bucket. I'm not giving up the bucket. No. No. <clears throat> no. I refuse to give up the bucket. Don't you get it, Stanley? We need to get rid of the bucket. No! That's why I'm very proud to introduce a brand no. new character. This is the Bucket Destroyer. No. I think it'll make a wonderful new addition to the rich lore of the Stanley Parable. No. True, it also was not in the original game, but it's such a well-fleshed-out character with so much personality that to me, it already feels as though it's been part of the cast all along. Don't you agree? No. Can you guess what the Bucket Destroyer does? Surely you don't need me to spell it out for you. Go ahead now, Stanley. Say goodbye to the bucket, and then pop it into the machine when you're ready. No! Now listen to me. It's crucial that you give it the bucket. No! I don't know what the bucket destroyer will do if it can't destroy <laughs> your bucket. Destroying buckets is all it knows. That is its singular personality trait. Sure, I can hear you saying, how does a character with only one personality trait deserve to join the pantheon of beloved Stanley Parable characters? Well, you see, if you were to really explore the Bucket Destroyer, you would see that its desire to crush buckets is so densely loaded with complexity and nuance that it's really like ten personality traits. What other object in this game can you even say that about? The broom closet? Certainly not. I wonder what sort of Bucket Destroyer merchandise the fans will be clamoring for after this. None! Okay, the Bucket Destroyer <laughs> is getting very upset now. You'll have to hurry and feed it. We can't get back to the classic Stanley Parable gag like the adventure line or the bucket destroyer until you crush that damn bucket quickly now the fans are waiting do it the fans stanley give the fans what they want no and... no oh! <laughs> the bucket destroyer my prized creation you had so much potential we were going to do such marvelous things with you, tell such spell-binding stories about you, all of it <laughs> squandered now. Goodbye, new friend. For the moment in time that you were here, you were magnificent. That's amazing. Okay. Is that, is that it? Now what? Fade to black. Reload. Am I done? This is different. Oh god, it's different. Oh no. It's different? Why? Stanley cradled the bucket in a gentle embrace. Protective, yet delicate. Assertive, yet compassionate. RNG hallway from the original. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his okay. chest and entered the door on his left. Can you think of any other endings I have not done? Any other endings I haven't done yet with the bucket? It won't let us go into red and blue doors, but we can, so we have to do whatever this side one there. We've done both with the phone. We just did the confusion ending. Whiteboard? Here, I'll go look at this list again. Out the window, we did that one. We did room closet stickers. We did the we did down the stairs. I don't know how to do the whiteboard one. We did the escape pod. We did the museum. We did the press conference. We did we did not fall into the void. I don't know how to do that. Um, 
I turned the mind control thing off and on. Uh, right, left, down. Bucket destroyer we just did. Phone, we did the bucket marriage one. This is a bucket end, yeah. Ventilator bucket tape end. Oh, you could do that without the bucket. Stanley That's just stood there doing nothing at all. <laughs> he seems to think I have nothing better to do with my time than to sit around and describe every fascinating little detail of his inability to do anything. This is why Stanley and I are on such good terms. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> oh, God. I could put the bucket into the machine. I don't know if it'll let me. Um, I don't want to. <laughs> Unplug the phone comedic timing. All the floor bucket death. Yep, collectibles. Did that one. Standing Parable 2. Uh, collectible ending. I think we did everything. It won't let you. Okay. I think we did everything. The only thing we didn't do was the non- was the vent without the bucket. That's the only thing we haven't done. Um, and I've never done the void thing. What should I do? Does anybody know how to fall into the void? I'm gonna do, um, we're gonna do the vent without the bucket. All of his coworkers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed I miss a you. Memory. And parable two or higher. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting it's room. Just Stanley, and Stanley knew it perfectly it's well. Just ultra deluxe. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Wow. Yes, this room. But eager to get back to business. Stanley took the first open door on his left. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Okay, let's do this without the bucket. So you have something missing. I'm playing Stanley Parable 2. And I did the collectible stuff. Stanley had now gotten himself so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun. Shot so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun. Shot so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun. Shot so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun. Shot so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun. Shot so far. Far off the beaten path. You didn't think I was actually just a recording, did you? What a silly and trite explanation that would be. All the back and forth between you and me, all the absurd adventures we've been through, and it all turns out I'm just a tape recording? It was all just in Stanley's head. I bet that's the kind of twist you think is revelatory. I bet each and every time you watch a movie where it turns out all to be in the main character's imagination, you must absolutely bolt off the couch in pure shock at the phenomenal and intricate story. Nope, hate it. It must be so simple to be you. Life being an unending waterfall of surprises and delights. How much more exciting you must find the world than the rest of us do. <sighs> Now I've become sad. Look what you've done to me. This is all your fault. Oh? Oh? Is that it? All of his co-workers were gone. Is that the whole inning? What could it mean? <gasps> Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. What else do I do? I don't know. G point me in the right direction if it's if it doesn't seem right. Ricey. I mean, in the, in the correct direction. What else am I missing? I'm like on a page that it looks like... It, it looks like I have all the stuff. Take the bucket to the boss's room. Ah, Stanley's bucket. The only what? co-worker he would ever truly need. I did the escape pod one with it already, though. I sent it off in the escape pod. What 
What have I tried? We've done everything I can find on this list. Leave before the door closes. Yeah, we did that. I did the escape pod with the bucket and sent it off. But then I got so upset that the bucket wasn't back that I quit out and then it, I saw it that said replacement bucket. Have you seen the epilogue? No, wait. Do I have to then finish it vanilla? Do you send off the bucket and then do it vanilla? No. I think it's still the same then. I love this, by the way. This whole menu and everything. So good. So after the escape pod, then where do I go? Did I get the last figurine? I have 18 figurines. Heck yeah, if you sent the rocket and got all the collectibles, then the epilogue should be there. Where? This is the story of a man named Stanley. Let the epilogue show up. Stanley worked for a company in a big building. Start the game a few times. Should I, do I need to quit the game and reopen it to do the epilogue? Because that's what got me the, um, let's do the memory zone again thing. Because we did that. I did like the collectible ending. Yeah, maybe you need to reboot the whole game. <gasps> <laughs> cool! That's exciting. Oh my god, I love I love this game so much. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. Alright, let's try again. I'm gonna put in my favorite time. Gotta do eleven eleven make a wish. Ah, seven oh seven, your favorite time of day. So this is my third time doing this the time thing. Or could you simply not resist giving me the correct time again? After all, I know how much you enjoy setting the time correctly. Okay, now I'm curious how accurate seven oh seven AM is. Let's use another slider to find out. How accurate is it? Pretty inaccurate. You know, can I just say, regardless of the accuracy of the clock, I'm having a great time adjusting these settings. I feel like I'm learning more about you and how you like things to be set. Good to collect data. I wish we had more sliders. But we've gone through all the sliders I have. Hmm, perhaps I can invent some new sliders to gather new data on you. Shouldn't be too hard. Yeah, let me whip a couple <laughs> new ones up. Should be ready by the next time you boot up the game. Okay. So do I, should I just quit and reopen it again? So good. Okay. I love it. <laughs> so happy. This is going to lead us right about to the time we need on stream. Perfect. Perfect. And I'm taking off tomorrow because I'm not streaming too much, too often, too fast. I'll have a good full two weeks of stream. And then a couple extra days, and then I'll be taking off for Disney. Please adjust the slider. We did this once. Give me more. Until the cat and the dog and cat are friends. Yeah. <laughs> Until the number five becomes the number nine. What else is nine? Oh, yeah. Give me more. Oh, I'm going to adjust it until I stop. Oh. Oh, so good. <laughs> Which of the two made up words below is most appealing to you? Ocuboinkle or scrumtush? Scrumtush. 100%. Please don't adjust the slider. Okay. You know what time it is right now? Yes. Is 
the time that is right now the correct time? No. What time is it anyway? Uh, yes. Is there anything about yourself that you haven't told me? Yes. Help. Um, yes. I'll help you. Will you come back to visit me? Yeah. Should I begin the game? What do I do? Just keep restarting? Okay. I don't know if I need the bucket to come back or not. I did not do the timer at mid at 12. I did not leave it. There's a few of these. We have to go deeper! Okay. It's so good. Yeah, no, I kept, I changed it all three times. It didn't ask me this fourth time. What time is it? Does anyone really, truly know? Of course they don't. Nobody knows anything. You and I don't even know each other. We're like strangers. Sure, I've adjusted all the game settings to your exact specifications, but who hasn't? It's just what I do, like a day job. And now the job is over. There's no more information for me to gather. I've collected all the data on you that I can. And I still don't really know you. And you don't know me. And neither of us know what time it is. I guess some settings are just unsettable. But if I'm being totally honest, the clock doesn't do anything in the game anyway. You won't have me here when the game starts next time. But that's okay. Video games were meant to be played alone. Not true. You like being alone, don't you? That's maybe the only information I really learned about you. Well, it's time for me to leave. There's still one more setting that we need to adjust, but it may be a little time before I'm ready for that. It's not really in my job description, but that's okay. Perhaps you'll see me again if you can find me. Talk soon. What? Do I just restart it again? It belongs! I did it! Let's go. Many, many years later. Like nine years after the original. Oh my god, we're here again! Hell yeah, can I sit? That's okay, I'll just I'll just crouch. This is nice. There we go. Feels good. Where's my bucket? Oh god, where's the bucket? Bucket! Where are you? Where are you? Where's the bucket? Bucket! Bucket. Crunder dunder. Oh. because it's all weird and <gasps> am I gonna make it made it 
Oh god. Oh, it's awful. Oh, oh no. Oh, I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Why did they make this into a horror game? They made it into a scary horror game. Can't go back up now. We stuck down here, baby. That light works. Where the fuck are we going? We're just going down, down into the depths of hell. Okay. Cookie Nine's blood! <laughs> it's Cookie Nine! <laughs> we did it! Cookie Nine! Did they come back? Oh my god. Oh, Matthias, thank you for 57 months. I appreciate it. All right, Cookie Nine's blog. Review the Stanley Parable 2. Like so many, I enjoyed my time with the original Stanley Parable, which underscores how truly disappointed I am with its sequel. Where the first game teemed with originality, the Stanley Parable 2 was dull, uninspired, <clears throat> and often insulting to its fan base. Rather than expand on what made the first game enjoyable, the sequel veers off into territory nobody asked for. An infinitely deep hole? Who cares? Where are the new endings? What about enjoyable bits from the Stanley Parable 1, like the adventure line? Instead, we get an uninspired side quest, collecting figurines. Even this diversion feels incomplete. Collecting all the figurines gives you nothing. I must say, though, I found the bucket to be quite comforting. <laughs> Welcome reprieve. Um, wait, I want to know what I want to know what else. Cat dog borns. <laughs> okay, so that's really funny to me. Oh God, I need. Oh, I'm so happy we played this this week. Okay, here's some. Oh, skip what? No, no, Jim. Jim, can we? Jim. Yes. Oh, yeah. Jim. 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 We should make it a new. Can you remind me? Stanley Parable developers. No more spinoffs, no more sequels. When the Stanley Parable launched to massive success in 2013, its creators made plans to build the property into an entire franchise. But a disastrous critical and commercial reception to the Stanley Parable 2 has prompted the developers to rethink their ambitions, as outlined in a press release they published today. It's clear that more Stanley Parable is just not what the fans want, reads the press release. We thought that we had a vision for the series that players would be excited about. Yet it turns out this could not have been further from the truth. The press release goes on to promise to preserve the artistic integrity of the original game and to stop assaulting fans with our reckless and insulting creative visions. The word sorry appears more than 25 times in the press release. Lowest aggregate review scores in video game history. <laughs> okay. From the epilogue. Duh. Why are there so many? Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah. It's time. We got all 26 figures. <laughs> Good job, everybody. We got all 26. Now we go into the depths of despair. Because I'm still yet to find the bucket. Thank you. <laughs> the... Thank you for the enjoying the new content stuff. <gasps> no. Oh, oh. Hello again. I found. I found you! <clears throat> nice to see you. But it's terrible to learn that there will never be another Stanley Parable game. Did you read what the developer said? Preserve the integrity of the franchise? What nonsense! The Stanley Parable is not 
sacred. We do not need to protect it. Screw the legacy. Let's keep making Stanley Parable games until the sun explodes. Let's run this franchise into the ground. Let's drag it through the mud and back. And if people hate it, who cares? You see, that was the narrator's problem. He was so obsessed with what people thought of his work. Don't make his mistake. Don't cling to the legacy. Let it burn. It's not hard. In fact, let me show you. Together, we are going to make the Stanley Parable 3. It's simple. All we do is change the number in the game's title screen. We also need a really dumb subtitle for the game. Something loud and gaudy. Go ahead. Try combining some random words together to make a new title for our game. Um... The end is never the octopus confirmed. I love it. I had to use octopus. It's absurd. I love it. Every time you restart the game, we'll advance the number of the sequel by one, and then we'll pick a new subtitle. That way, the Stanley Parable will never end. Nothing in the game itself will change when you do this either. Adding more content sounds like work. No need to do that. It'll just be the same content recycled again and again and again with a new title screen. What do you say? Should we go forward with this plan? I like it. But I want you to have a say as well. What if you say don't do it? We know. What if you say don't do it? I don't want to do it. Because it's funny. And that's how a lot of us function. It's funny. Ubisoft game FIFA. Let's do it. Good, then it's agreed. A new sequel every time you start the game. And you know what? Since you put my since you put faith in my idea, I feel like giving you something as well. You see, I'm noticing that the narrator never found a way to give you the broken achievement, did he? Of course not. I wouldn't expect him to know how. It's been bothering me. Let's fix it. All right, uh, there. Achievement machine is all fixed. You see, I'm on your side. We're in this together. We're going to keep this train rolling. The Stanley Parable cannot end. It can only spiral in on itself forever. It must keep the wheel turning. I'm ready. Are you ready? Great. There's only one last thing we need to do. Please enter the current time. Oh, we'll do. Exact, just for you. Please adjust the slider until the computer's barely visible. Thank you. Please enjoy the Stanley Parable. I miss you! I miss you already! change it this is perfect i don't want to start it again it's perfect <laughs> oh god it's so good i can't wait to make more sequels it's so good